Tab Ramos wasn't the guy that brought players like Elise and Minotas into the fold. Gotti Kinda sliding it through for Kyrie Shelton with the left foot, and it's banged home by Hurtado. Second goal on the season for Eric Hurtado in his first start of 2020 in Sporting Kansas City. Jump out in front. Nate, I, I told you to watch Eric Hurtado. I thought he was going to have a good game here. And, and while the finish in the end is, is pretty easy, but the as, as this ball, actually, that, that takes a pretty wicked deflection off a, off a marriage there. And Hurtado still has to finish it. But Gotti Kinda, a little no-look pass to Kyrie Shelton. Great run in behind. Actually, it's a good save. Eric Hurtado, that, that seems easy, but, but with, you have that much time. Uh, I know it's not, uh, but what a run from Kyrie Shelton coming across there. And Hurtado to Nate. Hurtado started this finish in the end is it, pretty easy, but the as, as this ball, actually, that, that takes a pretty wicked deflection off a, off a marriage there. And Hurtado still has to finish it, but Gotti Kinda, a little no-look pass to Kyrie Shelton. Great run in behind. Actually, it's a good save. Eric Hurtado, that, that seems easy, but, but with you have that much time. Uh, I know it's not, uh, but what a run from Kyrie Shelton coming across there. And Hurtado to Nate. Owen Quintero chipping it in back post. Lovely ball brought back across to Elise, and he knocks it home. Albert Elise only on for a matter of minutes, and he levels the match. But it all started with that dime of a ball from Quintero switching the play over to Darwin Seren. Right spot at the right time, but Quintero here, just a little too much time. Good little chip ball. That, that side's just overloaded there with Memo Rodriguez there, Albert Elise there, and then Seren just sneaks in as Amadou Dia is going to, to Mark Rodriguez there. Uh, just, just, uh, a problem of having too many guys, I think, uh, not communicating there early for, and then playing with two wing backs out there. So you essentially have five in the across the back line. Valentin putting it in, and it's knocked home. And the Dynamo have struck again. It's Mauro Manotas. Another sub for Tab Ramos and another goal. Decent possession from Houston as they work it for, from the left uh, over to the right. But Kansas City, they've got a lot of numbers back here. It's just getting closer, denying that service. Belton, we said how good of a game he was having on the defensive end. That is a great ball in right in between Reed and, and Puchic and Minotas. He hasn't really been healthy this year, but he is a guy that can score goals. We, we've seen that in his MLS career. And he makes no mistake from, from a header on the penalty spot right there. And that, so many close calls. Mueller, the ensuing corner, the near post, chance to DK to turn out a redirect it in. The question whether that was offside or not, it's last off Benji Michelle. And Orlando looked to have taken the lead in first half stoppage time. Got Bello here on the near side of your screen. He steps up. It it's looks like walks. walks. Yeah. yeah, it was walks who keeps him on. That one's going to count. DK involved in it again, missed shot. Great redirection there from Michelle. Just to put it in the back of the net. Great reaction, look at that, right foot in the back of the net. Walks across for Mulraney. Mulraney will cross this in, and the header's in a goal! Just the ball lifted up into the air. And Atlanta, for a second time in their history, have a stoppage time goal to pull the rug out from Orlando. It's Adam John with his third career goal. Laura saying Orlando just letting Atlanta United hang around had really not created any clear-cut opportunities other than the one from Kubo Torres. But talk about a header. Look at him rise up here. Up over center back for Orlando City and just hammers this one home. Galese can do nothing about it. Boy trying to get his legs under him. And now another nice switch by Baldissimo. This is more like it. And some room for Ali Adnan to run into. Can he make the right pass? It's a decent ball! And it's one! And it's finally Lucas Cavallini!
What a ball from Ali Adnan, and El Tanque fires the cannon for the first time in minute 17. Ali Adnan, all sorts of space down the left-hand side, and it's quick movement, too, from the Whitecaps. But look at this ball here, shaped in behind the TFC defense. Simon begging there as it's Cavallini finally scoring for the Whitecaps with a header. And the Whitecaps uh, with a bit of a surprising lead based on the run of play so far. But a beautiful goal for his first as a Whitecap. Ah, who needs possession, Dolly? Who needs anything from 12 yards out? It wasn't an easy ball either, the skip up from the turf, but he adjusted nicely. Lots of room for Auto once more. Ooh, neat little pocket for Pozuelo looking at the back post for Osorio! Terrific finish! Left-footed volley, and TFC have equalized in minute 25. It's a fantastic finish from Jonathan Osorio. And he gets in behind the white cap back four again. Excellent left-footed finish into the side netting after the setup from Pozuelo. Beautiful ball away from the white cap defense. Eric Adoy can't make up the ground. Osorio side foots it and equalizes for Toronto FC. They're going to jump clearly, so he can't put it underneath them. Adnan steps forward, Milinkovic straight at the wall, rebound, Baldissimo, what a goal! The youngster has scored his first in Major League Soccer and the celebration to match 2-1 Whitecaps. It all, as Milinkovic drives it into the wall, but it's a good touch as well to settle it. And as it comes back up off the turf, he swings through it with all the power behind it to score his first MLS goal. And tops it off in style. Altador, Auto. Back post ball, and there's Pozuelo to, snot, to nod it home. A terrific ball across, and it was so, so easy for the Spaniard who just had to put his head into it. And we're all square at two in minute 71. Lots of time on the far side to pick out Pozuelo. And Erwinski a little slow to pick up the man as it's Piatti who stays on the park and serves up a delicious ball for Alejandro Pozuelo. The two link up again for a goal that Thomas Asal can't get to. Too much space on the far side as Adnan not tight enough defensively there to block the cross from coming in. The edge of the 18-yard box. Let's see if he could tease it in between the goalkeeper in that area. That's where the ball goes. Andy Rose. Great spot! 3-2! Second of the season. His last goal came here on opening day, and now he gives the Whitecaps the lead. It is such a high line from Toronto FC that they're always chasing back towards their own goal. Rose able to keep it in play and cuts it across where it's knocked home by Nerwinski. Good ball in from Adnan in behind that Toronto defense. And well played back for Nerwinski, who makes up the numbers and slots it home. And again, the white caps are on the board. No offside there, as it's Rose coming from in behind. He plays it back into the perfect spot for Nowinski. Well done from Rose, well done from Nowinski. And where it's knocked home by Nowinski. Good ball in from Adnan, in behind that Toronto defense. And well played back for Nowinski, who makes up the numbers and slots it home. And again, the white caps are on the board. No offside there, as it's Rose coming from in behind. He plays it back into the perfect spot for Nowinski. Well done from Rose, well done from Nowinski. And the Whitecaps again retake the lead. Wando approaches, rolls it right past him. Goal San Jose! 162 for Chris Wondolowski. And it's 1-0 Earthquakes. Well, we haven't seen Chris Wondolowski take too many penalty kicks. Typically it's been Magnus Eriksson. But Wando, cool, calm, collected. <laughs> Man, I wouldn't have the guts to do that. But when you've scored 161 goals and you've taken the amount of penalty kicks he has, he knows what he's doing. And I love how angry he gets when he celebrates. This is a big moment for me for the Quakes. Set piece is so critical when you're trying to fight your way up the table. That's a dangerous ball. Headed down and in. Kai Kamora has equalized 
And we are even at one, his third goal of the year. Well, Kai Kamara doing what Kai Kamara does. He positions himself. How about that athleticism to get up, puts himself in the exact right spot, quality service. We've talked about the importance of defending set pieces. Kai Kamara celebrating. I think it was a little Wakanda Forever celebration that I saw and a shout out to Chaswick Bozeman. Chadwick Bozeman, excuse me. But the Earthquakes having to regroup here, giving up a set piece goal on corner kick, something that I am certain Matias Almeida has talked about consistently. Gattis. Bedoya to get on this. Alejandro Bedoya, that's a good ball. Aronson fires. He scores. Brendan Aronson. What a shot beats a diving Ryan Mara. And one of the most promising prospects in U.S. soccer opens the scoring. Brendan Aronson in the Union for a 1-0 lead. Big time strike, and it's why European clubs are looking at him. We talked about the danger of Bedoya. Nobody anywhere near Brendan Aronson. Look at that wide opening. Nobody there. Nobody tracked back to cover him. He's got to be the responsibility, generally, of Caceres or Florian Velo. He was wide open, and he ripped it. Played into space. Chance here for the Union. Bedoya into the box. Here's Vooten. Plays it across, and Shabilko with the finish. It's Katsper Shabilko and the Union doubling the lead in the second half. It's 2-0. Talk about make the ball do the work. Look at this sequence from Philadelphia. The no-look pass right here by Brendan Aronson into space. Bedoya gets forward. That is chemistry. That's fluidity. That's anticipating where your teammates going. That is just too good, too quick. Red Bull doing a little bit of ball watching. Giving them too much time and space. Parker has to go out. Fontana with his first touch. Real, who's also come on. Pass broken up. It comes here to Omer Fernandez, but taken back by the Union. Il Signo from Matt Real puts it off the inside of the net, and the Union are on their way. They can rev up the bus from this point. They've got a three-goal lead at Red Bull Arena. You cannot lose the ball here, and Caceres and Omer Fernandez have been losing the ball in their own defensive third. You're the two guys sitting in front of the back four. You cannot do that. You're going to get punished. Here he is. You can't try and flick a ball like that. I don't want fancy. Clear it out. If not, it's in the back of the net. As Calvo will track this one down straight into Bo. Popped up in the air, Pineda rises for the header, it's Tommy McNamara onside, McNamara plays it along, it's Bunbury now, and it's an opening goal for New England. Just like that, the Revs take the lead, the first goal scored at Soldier Field by the visiting team in 2020 since Chicago Fire's return, it's New England 1, Chicago 0. Here's the initial play here, Calvo gives the ball away, that's the one guy you don't want it to have, and it looks like he was onside there. And McNamara looked onside there as well and good vision across the field and it was off to the races. And this is the end result here. Teal Burnberry getting on the end of this one. Nothing Bobby Shuttleworth could do. It goes through his legs as he's going across the goal. Space in the middle of the field, drawing defenders in and giving Krankowski space wide. Medran, another outswinger, another good ball. Navarro on the first time. Herbers, is he onside? He is for the moment, and Fabian Herbers has equalized. They'll certainly take a look at it, but Fabian Herbers loving his time at Soldier Field. Ball was played in, it was Gastoni Menez. Again, it's cleared. Navarro mishits it, and it looks like at that back post, Brandon Bay is the one that kept everybody onside. Falls nicely to Herbers and as you mentioned, loving Soldier Field. Playing the feet of Fagundes and well played by Alexander Butner. Back out wide for Bunbury. He has the long goal for the refs tonight. Curling one in Whoa. and it finds the back of the net. Teal Bunbury unapologetically finds the back of the net on a cross 
That ends up being a shot. It might just be a game winner. Well, this is a ball played out wide here. Navarro gets sucked inside here. Doesn't get any pressure. It's close enough. And this what? is one of those that I think is earmarked to be a cross and comes off the side of the foot, off the top of the foot, and just keeps drifting over Bobby Shuttleworth. As he makes that first move, he sees Bo and Buxa in the box. He's making that first step. And you can tell from that angle, not easy from a goalkeeper standpoint. Luis Diaz, up and down season for him so far. Looks inside for Nagby, it goes to Santos! <laughs> the team that leads the league with goals after halftime just adds another, the breakthrough. one nothing in the 52nd. They love who this team is from the back. Josh Williams starts the whole thing. All right, Brett Hilbrandt, you talk about teeing Luis Diaz up. Look at this run. Big touch here past Garza. See you later. What a ball. Through the seams, back to that spot between the 6 and the 12. Nagby drags the players to the near post. And then Santos says, thank you very much. I'll pass it in the back of the net. What a crew goal. Taking that first touch, and there's good work by Zardes. Just off the bench. Nagby. Santo Sardes! The wonderful week continues! A baby boy and now a belated birthday goal! 2 nothing. Watch his run here. He's right on the middle of your screen. Little button hook run that comes back in front of Van Der Werf. This is a ridiculous run, and he does all the work to pull the defender out of the space and then beat him exactly where he wanted him to be. This could be a stunning sequence. Diaz. Ricochets off a block by Gutman and Van Der Werf. He finally has revenge on Teton from close range. 3 nothing. Bench here. Darlington Nagby finding that pocket right in front of the back line. And Luis Diaz, credit Cincinnati's defenders. The number of block shots they've had tonight is good. That one goes off the chest of Teton. But Jossie Zardes, quick to pounce on the second ball. Places it in the net. understand why players try to take advantage of that. Reynoso, takes a tumble, but perhaps an opening for Minnesota. It's Chase Gasper of all people who scores! Of all the people! A first career goal for Chase Gasper! How much do they need that? Deserve it so that he continues this run. And really, the first contact comes right there. A nice little flick on by Jan Gregus to find Reynoso, who takes it. A hefty tackle right there. Look at the flick with the heel. Reynoso takes the contact. Molino swivels his hips outside of the right. But credit to Chase Gasper for continuing that run. Now Reynoso slipping it through. Excellent ball. This is now Robin Lerz. He scores. Beautifully crafted by Emmanuel Reynoso. And fabulously finished by Robin Lerz. And look at Robin Lloyd. He knows exactly where that back line is. And Reynoso puts it right in his path. Flat paces it to the near post. The keeper, McMath, he's probably trying to guess. He's trying to, he's trying to wonder. Are you going to play it across to your teammate as they're coming into the box? Nobody's stepping to the ball. And he passes it in near post. And Tyler Miller, a fourth goal for Robin Lloyd in Minnesota United Colors this season. Edwards returns the favor. Molino's in here. Edwards, and it's slammed in by Jacory Hayes. Real Salt Lake plunge into darkness. What you love to see is the teammates supporting teammates with the movement. A really good touch by Raheem Edwards. I mean, he's completely surrounded there by three 
We all saw Lurk Lake jerseys. He finds Kevin Molino, finds Raheem Edwards, gets the ball back as he continues his run, and then he plays it back unselfishly. Kevin Molino to Raheem Edwards, who unselfishly plays it to Ja'Cory Hayes. Now, in this instance, it works out. There's been, there'd be some times where you'd be like, geez, somebody needs to just shoot the ball. Why, we can't mess around with that many touches in the box, but you just love the supporting of the teammates, the finishing of the chances. The Here's Dodson. And in towards left. Brilliant goal. How about it? They're in the Minnesota clouds now. 4 0 the score line. With the inside of the left foot, but just again the unselfish nature of Minnesota United. But Raheem Edwards makes that run across the edge of the 18. That brings his defender with him, allowing Kevin Molino to cut in. Hassani Dobson makes the run in, finds the space. Look at that clean little touch to evade a couple tackles. And Robin Lewin on the wide right curls it around McMath. 4 0 Minnesota United. Charlie Miller, the flying fin, gets his second, and Minnesota's fourth. Was not held, I should say, by Ismail Elfat, the restart. Now Duval almost made it to Valeri, headed away by Andrade. Here's Eric Williamson stepping around a couple sounders. Valeri, oh, Eric Williamson has scored! What a moment for his first goal for the Portland Timbers! They're up 1-0 on the road in Seattle! Top quality. He was showing confidence, and that has bled straight into this match. Just follow him there on the ball. His composure to skip around one player. Nice little bounce pass into Valeri, who spins it off into Williamson. But it's after that where he keeps his cool and he keeps his calm. And Drade, it's a decent enough clearance from him. He's got the height. But from there now, we're watching Valeri. And just look how Valeri just picks up that position off of that back four. Nobody goes in with him, and he spins it off into that second movement from Williamson. Maria helps it on. Sounders will try it again. Ladero. Dangerous ball headed away by Zuperich. Only as far as they're down. Jerez scored. Fantastic strike from the right back. Kelvin Leardon. His second goal against the Timbers this year. And he levels the match. Again with Ladero. He puts in a great cross. The Timbers do. Clear this ball, but it only falls to Leardam at the edge of the box. And this is such a sweet strike from Leardam. Just cuts across the ball so well. His balance and just the way that he waits for the ball to come on to him. Then at the last second, his foot catching right through that center of the ball. There's a little drift on it as well. He gets that in the back of the net, but kind of in between there. Strange sequence of events, but the Timbers happy to be on the, the better end of it. Now Williamson, Mora is on side. The flag is down, and Felipe Mora, his third straight game with a goal, has given the Timbers the lead. Looks to be on side, and as that ball is so well weighted into the path of Mora, who just needs to pick up his head, finds the corner of the goal. Such great timing all around from Williamson, the weight of the pass, and then for Mora. Just riding along that line, he's waiting for that moment. That pass, it goes between defenders and more. He springs onto it. He's that type of striker that needs to be fed his chances. Get that separation pace going, and then all of a sudden you can turn that corner. Insua. He'll play ahead. This looks good for Pavone. He's got an open goal. Score! And just like that. Galaxy take advantage of a mistake, take the lead. Christian Pavon, goal number six of the season. Mistake by Cisniega coming out on this. I'm not sure what he's thinking that he's going to beat Pavon to that ball. He gets caught in no man's land, and Pavon, he's a killer. And this ball absolutely fabulous. Just a little dink right over the top. Cisniega is caught in no man's land, and he knows it. He knows it. As a keeper, you can see it on his face. He's like, oh, what did I just do? And Pavon makes him pay. Well, I think Pavon was probably saying the same thing. Oh, what did you just do? Corona hanging out around the spot. Los Santos at the corner. Here's Pavon towards the spot. The shot, score! Sebastian Lejet! And the Galaxy double the score! It is 2-0 in the 73rd minute. 
question here. Look at all the numbers going forward. You think they're going in an offside position, but look at this. Just a bending run by Leggett. Just curves it out, connects it, connects with the ball perfectly, goes right through Jakovic's legs into that post. And this time, this time, Cisniega cannot get back onto his left as he's shifting to the right. Here's Efren Alvarez. Good ball here for Felcher. Can the Galaxy get a third? Felcher along the end line. Gets that cross towards the backside. The scissor kick towards the goal. Score! Sebastian Lejet! He did it again! In the 84th minute, it is 3-0 Galaxy. And that is the final nail of this coffin. ...them to death. And then finishing it off with a play like this. Patience won it once again. The jet with the near post run pulls off the defenders and then goes up, gives a little bit of a scissor kick. Hello to the far post. That one is making the highlight reel. And you know what? No one's going to be let down by this El Trafico game either. Three to zero, LA Galaxy. They're on their way to their fourth straight victory.